Time for new rules, everybody. All right. New rules. Guys need to get it through their head that the only thing sadder than you going on about football is you going on about fantasy football. <laughs> And by the way, if you delight in imagining having a bunch of young, fit athletes and what it would be like if they played for your team, it's pretty clear what your real fantasy is. <laughs> New Rule, cut some slack to the Alabama Walmart that was selling gun oil, which is a personal lubricant used by gay men, <laughs> selling it in their actual gun department. <laughs> It's Alabama. You'll, you'll find their cheese nips in the Asian food section. <laughs> New rule, someone has to tell Walmart, who just announced they're going to try to appeal to middle class shoppers, that there is no more middle class. And even if there was, the single biggest advantage to make it to get into the middle class is never ever having to set foot in Walmart. New rule, Playboy has to fess up about the real reason they decided to stop showing pubic hair in the magazine. It's 2015, nobody has any. <laughs> New rule, someone at Costco has to tell me how I'm supposed to sample this toilet paper. <laughs> it's creepy enough when you serve me the key lime pie in that little plastic cup that makes it look like Shrek left a sperm sample. <laughs> And finally, new rule, Americans have to make a list of all the reasons we've heard over the years why young men with guns use them in mass shootings. Things like violent video games, poor mental health care, bad parents, Marilyn Manson, lack of prayer in school, Prozac, bullying, and that time the president got blown and didn't go to jail. <laughs> and then we have to get real about what it really is. They can't get laid. Yes, they may have been on Prozac because they were feeling blue, but do you know what else was feeling blue? Their balls. <laughs> now, as the details emerge about our latest American massacre this month at an Oregon college, the least surprising thing was that the shooter wrote a manifesto and said he was going to die girlfriendless and a virgin. On a dating site called Spiritual Singles he was on, he described himself as a conservative Republican who lives with his parents. And swipe left. <laughs> the shooter at the UC Santa Barbara tragedy last year left us with these words. I've been forced to endure an existence of unfulfilled desires, all because girls have never been attracted to me, I've never even kissed a girl, and I will punish you all for it. Which is either a cry for help or the worst eHarmony profile I've ever heard. <laughs> the Virginia Tech shooter was accused of following and harassing female students. Timothy McVeigh famously never had a date and almost certainly died a virgin. The Sandy Hook killer left a document on his computer explaining, quote, why females are inherently selfish. Yes, plainly because they won't give it up to a real catch like that. <laughs> this is a pattern no one is talking about. Mass killers are almost always male and almost always women repellent. And what must make it even worse for them is America. Yeah, because if you live in America, it just looks like everyone is getting laid all the time. Every corner of social media is full of bragging studs and sexy selfies. Every other line in every sitcom is sexual innuendo. Every billboard, pop-up, movie, Carl's Jr. ads are practically softcore porn. <laughs> a model deep-throating a hamburger? Right, like models eat. <laughs> How can you not be thinking of sex all the time when advertising looks like this in America? Burger King ran this ad with a woman who looks just like an inflatable doll opening her mouth to accommodate a new menu item called the Super 7-Incher. With the big letters, it'll blow! 
your mind away. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know for a fact that no man in history has ever said, sex, 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 that's all I ever do. Where's my gun? I'm mad at the world. I just know it's true. Unrealized adolescent sexuality can be very dangerous. Just ask my hand. <laughs> <laughs> we need to wake up and smell the testosterone. The reason behind so many of these tragedies has been right in our face, throbbing angrily. <laughs> and if you think young men in America are throbbing angrily, what would you estimate the sexual frustration level to be for a young man who grows up only ever seeing women who look like this <laughs> or this? How do you even masturbate to that? <laughs> I know masturbation requires imagination, but that's ridiculous. <laughs>